My name is Marcelo Santos. I'm a professor of geodesy at the University of New Brunswick, Canada. This is a series of five videos in which I overview five climate-related news published in February this year in such a way to highlight their importance. In this video, we will talk about an article published in the magazine Nature, written by Zeke Howe's father and Glenn Peters, criticizing the widespread use of an unreal CO2 emission scenario as a basis for the elaboration of public policies. It is good to see common sense in a world where too much information is available. In an article in Nature, two climate experts clearly state that it is wrong to use the unrealistic worst-case scenario in terms of CO2 emissions for building policy, and I agree. A decade ago, the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, put together four scenarios of future greenhouse gas concentrations that climate modelers could use in climate forecasts, which would then feed back into economic models. One used the projected low economic growth and slow increases in the use of fossil fuels. Two were mid-range, and the last one, called RCP 8.5, was forecasting a virtually impossible scenario that would require a five-fold increase in global coal consumption. The problem is that the IPCC nicknamed RCP 8.5 as business as usual, and it started to be used by media and politicians, even though experts knew that actual emission trends were much closer to the low end. The RCP 8.5 scenario was basically impossible. The two climate experts who authored the paper had the courage and integrity to speak out not just about the science, but about the unjustified fear-mongering. They unequivocally tell that the so-called business as usual is misleading, that they know it and they should stop using it. This article in Nature reminds me of the warning by World Meteorological Organization Secretary General against climate doomsters and extremists. In an interview to Finland's financial newspapers Talo, Talo Selama on 6 February 2019. In this interview, Dr. Petteri Talas called for cooler heads to prevail, saying that he does not accept arguments of climate alarmists that the end of the world is at hand. Dr. Talas also spoke of the dangers of green extremism. Quote, while climate skepticism has become less of an issue, now we are being challenged from the other side. Climate experts have been attacked by these people and they claim that we should be much more radical. They are doomsters and extremists. They make threats." End quote. Dr. Talas called for the media both to challenge experts and allow a broader range of opinions to be heard. Yes, we need that. Link to the articles in the description below. And let's make myself clear. We need to fight pollution, the real one, for the simple reason that this is the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the soil on which we grow our food. We depend on them. We cannot poison them.